Mortgage lending? That's so easy. A caveman can do it. Well, while it's not rocket science, it can be confusing, especially if you're a consumer who buys a home every seven, eight, ten years. It's not something you deal with every day. And you have many confusing voices in the marketplace giving different answers. So today I had someone reach out to me who had been given an answer and they were told by a local bank that if they wanted to buy a home in Tennessee and they were moving here from California, then they had to get to Tennessee, start their job before they could close on their new home. That information is true if you're dealing with a local bank and not true if you're dealing with a mortgage lender. These are two totally different animals cut from two totally different pieces of cloth. They are not the same. The answers are not going to be the same. So what happens is local banks take in money from depositors, from their customers, from you and I, when we go deposit our paycheck or we put money in savings, we put money into our checking account. That's the money that they use to turn around and lend out. So if we go to the local bank to borrow money for a car, we borrow money for a mortgage, that is our money or their customers' money that they're loaning us. So in that case, government entities that regulate banks require them to be much more safe, much more secure in their lending practice. And, and so they are going to be more restrictive in terms of what they allow and what they don't allow. Mortgage lenders, on the other hand, we don't lend out customers' money. We don't end out, lend out consumers' money. That money comes from the bond market. So as bonds are traded on the mortgage-backed securities market, that is what generates the funds that we're able to lend. And therefore, those agencies, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, VA, and USDA, they are the ones who sell those bonds. They are the ones who set the rules for mortgage lending. And we can follow those more relaxed rules than the rules that the local banks have when they're loaning money out on a home loan. And so one of the areas we talked about already is someone moving to Tennessee, say from California. So with mortgage lenders, we can, as per the guidelines for the agencies that we talked about already, we can accept an offer letter as long as you start your new job and all contingencies for that new job have been met, then we can close your home loan as long as you're starting your new job within 60 days from the time of closing. And so you can see right there, that's a lot greater flexibility. Uh, another area where mortgage lenders are going to be much more flexible is in the area of down payment, where a local bank typically is going to want to see a 20% down payment. And that's where one of the myths come from, where you hear people talking about, oh, if you want to buy a home, you have to have a 20% down payment. If you go to a local bank, that's the answer that you're going to get more times than not. However, a mortgage lender, we have programs available for zero down, three and a half percent down, three percent down, five percent down. And of course, if you want to put 20 percent down, you can. But the, there's a lot more options available for those who don't have the 20 percent down saved up for someone to get a home loan from a mortgage lender than a local bank. Another confusing thing is that not all mortgage lenders enforce the same rules. So while we do have the same rules from the agencies, those lenient rules sometimes scare some mortgage lenders and they, they wind up being more restrictive in their lending practices than what the agency that they're loaning money for requires. So for example, credit scores. I've heard of mortgage lenders out there requiring a credit score of 620, 640, 600 for FHA, VA, USDA loans, when in fact, those agencies do not have those requirements. In fact, USDA and VA doesn't have a stated minimum credit score requirement. And FHA has a minimum credit score of 500. Now, you may have to put down a larger down payment if you get below 580 on an FHA loan, but that's just one example of areas where some lenders are going to be more restrictive and some lenders are going to be more lenient in terms of the credit score. Another area I want to talk to you about is debt to income ratio. So a local bank, they're going to want to see a debt to income ratio somewhere in the neighborhood of 40% based on my experience in conversations with people where, again, the agencies that we talked about already, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, USDA, FHA, and VA all have greater flexibility in terms of debt to income ratio. Now, if you go look in the guidelines, you're going to get different answers than what I'm going to tell you today. The answers I'm telling you today is related to what we can get approved through the automated underwriting systems. USDA is going to be the most restrictive where they want to keep your total debt to income ratio down to 41% or 44% if you've got a higher credit score. But FHA, we can go as high as 56.9% on the debt to income ratio. 
On conventional loans, we can go as high as 50%. And VA, boy, we've seen 70, 80% approved through the automated systems. VA loans take into account residual income more than they do debt to income ratio. Residual income is going to be the monies that you have left over every month after you pay all of your other expenses. And so their theory is if you've got enough money left over, your debt to income ratio really doesn't matter that much. But the main thing I want you to get from this is that mortgage lenders and local banks are going to have much different guidelines. The mortgage lenders are going to have a lot more greater flexibility, a lot more opportunity to say yes and approve you for the purchase of your new home. So I think it's important to be careful, be aware of where you're getting your information from, where you're getting your answers from, and go ahead and find out, is this a local bank who's giving me this information? Do I have an opportunity to maybe get a yes from a mortgage lender if I've gotten a no from a local bank? Or you may just want to go ahead and reach out to a mortgage lender to get started. I'm happy to answer any questions if you want to reach out to me. And uh, as a mortgage lender, I'm always happy to answer your questions and help you find the right solution for your new home purchase.